today you will see two trucks going to Rotterdam and uh, they will um, drive uh, one second uh, distance and uh, we will have uh, this test on the, on the public road, the first test on public road cross border. It has been a long time Iveco has always pioneered the new solution. Today we are leader in sustainable transport in Europe with alternative traction, gas for good transport or people transport in the uh, truck and bus business. It's at the core strategy of Iveco and in fact of the um, mother house CNH industrial. So of course we are here um, presenting a new generation of innovation which are more going into not so much the alternative traction but now in the digital world and the control of vehicle and now to make them work together to further cut the emissions. Certainly it's very important for us to be here today and we're very glad that the Dutch presidency of the European Union decided to set autonomous driving, the platooning, as one of the first priority of their agenda of the presidency of the European Union. We are here because we think the platooning is a good help in the future to reduce CO2 emissions and to make a transport safer and more sustainable. Indeed, it's not only a new idea of mobility, but also of Europe working together on innovation. Instead of making new rules, we're discussing the old ones. Should we really need them to make innovation possible? What's next is not merely the implementation of the hardware, of the software, but the full infrastructure and having a full system working. That is the real main step that we have in front of us. Technology is allowing that one, but it's only one of the main points that is allowing the full system to get in place. Today, the future is here. I mean, today it's an actual roads. The different convoy which arrived here all came from different um, places. And with derogation respect to the law, they manage on public roads and arrived here on public roads from all over Europe. So it's reality from a technological standpoint. Now we need to find the legal frame uh, and sometimes that's what takes more time. We know how sometimes to vote a law, make an agreement at European level can be lengthy. But this even today is meant to give this boost because uh, there is no question that the technological solutions are ready. Mm -hmm.